Hey there everyone, it is Maria Young here and I sure do thank you guys so much for hanging out with me right here on my orchid and also my plant adventures. And in today's episode, I'm actually going to be showing you exactly how I get the most pups off of my bromeliads. <laughs> Now, as we all know, with the majority of our bromeliads, once the bromeliad does come into bloom, it will trigger the plant to start producing its offshoots or its babies, or what is also known as its pups. And as these little baby pups progress and grow, unfortunately, the mother will actually begin to digress and die back. Once these pups right here are at a good size to be propagated and removed, oftentimes you will find that the mother is not at its best tip-top condition, as in the case with this dying bromeliad mama right here. And indeed, as you can see, she has seen finer days. This is definitely not one of them. This bromeliad right here is on its last legs. It is dying back, it is decaying, and is quite an eyesore. So there is definitely no more use for this. We don't want to keep this around our other plants, and this would definitely spoil any arrangement. So what is there left to do other than to take this mama and discard her right um heck to the nah not if you want to produce more pups i'm just saying guys okay do not throw away dying mama too soon because she is still believe it or not a pup producer so all i did in this case folks was actually remove the initial growths that were on here there were two pups that i initially removed and what this did was actually encourage more growths to come about and all i needed to do was give it some time and just as long as the bromeliad and even the rhizome guys just as long as it is alive and has sufficient energy it can continue to throw off pups and i do not know if you guys caught that i did say either the bromeliad is still alive or the rhizome that's right guys via the rhizome propagation okay so here it is guys i have propagated bromeliads via the rhizomes i didn't even know if it could be done it is not talked about at all so i had to find out for myself you know here at my orchid adventures always on the go and finding out if it's truth fact or fiction and indeed it is the absolute truth as you can see right here where i have propagated these bromeliads via the rhizome only so definitely stay tuned for more as i give you the step-by-step -step process in which i did it guys stay tuned and i did the same exact thing with this dying mama right here where we propagated the initial pups off of this bromeliad and then i simply let mama sit and lo and behold we have one new growth of a pup two right here and if we turn it around we will actually see the third one so what i'll actually do is remove these when they get of size and then guess what i will let her sit yet again because she can actually produce even more at least we hope fingers crossed and here's yet another one that we've been keeping on life support or at least had been but if we take a look into the pot look at there that right there is not dying mama this is completely dead and gone mama okay we kept her on life support for as long as we could and the remnant of that are these right here. These are all the offshoots from that mama. So yes, you can keep it going until the party finally ends, okay? Just as long as you're patient and you wait, it can definitely be done where you can actually get more than one set of these pups. So normally the way that I keep, maintain, and store my bromeliads, keeping them on life support, I will actually take a pot, fill it 
just a little bit with some soil based media and either I will lightly plant the actual bromeliad in there or I will simply just take the mama and place it right on top of the media and just leave it as is. Now where I will keep this is within a place that is not highly trafficked. You're not going to see it. It's going to be out of sight, out of mind, but yet it's still in an area where I water and maintain. So even though I will not see it, it will still be getting some care. And now all there is left to do is simply be patient and wait. And I would say check up on it from time to time. And in a couple of weeks to about a month, you should notice some new growths off of your bromeliads. And there you have it, folks. That is my absolute secret for getting the most bromeliad pups as possible. That easy, that simple, and oh my gosh, anyone can do it. I always say if I can do it, you can too. Now, what I do have to tell you about this bromeliad propagation, keeping the actual mama on life support, you can literally get so many bromeliads out of this deal. Keep mama around and just as long as she is alive, she will continue to produce for you. I really do hope that you guys have learned something new from this video and I hope it's inspired you along your plant growing adventure. And I also hope that you liked this video and if you did, please be sure to like, share and also subscribe. Make sure you turn on that bell notification as well so you you guys will know exactly when I do post a video. Now I also want to ask you guys to join me on Facebook and also Instagram and you can do that under My Orchid Adventures. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys all and I will see you guys later and I'll also grow with you guys later as well. Bye bye for now. Mwah.